The purpose of this video is to show you how to use the conics application in order to graph circles. So the first place we want to go is under the apps button. And this will list for you all the applications that are on your calculator. And we want conics. So you have the option of scrolling down until you see the conics application. Or you can use the alpha buttons as a shortcut to jump down to see. Now, if you don't have this application, I have another video that will show you how to download any application from the TI website. So we press enter. And it asks you what type of conic do you want to graph. So as you can see, you can use this application for circles, ellipses, hyperbolas, or parabolas. So we want the first option, circle. You can either press enter or press 1. And you have the option of how you actually want to enter in your constants in the problem. So you can enter it in from standard form or for general form. And we're going to use standard form. So you have to be able to identify the H and the K values in order to identify the center of the circle. And what you must remember is that in the formula is X minus H. So when you look at your particular problem, the H value is whatever comes after your minus sign. So our H value is actually just 3. Then if we look at our K value, I have a plus sign here. So really what this is is we have y minus a negative 2. And that's how we end up with a positive value. So our k value is negative 2. And you want to make sure to use your negative sign and not the subtraction sign. Our r value is what value is being squared. So for our particular value, it is 16. But we want to rewrite this in terms of what is being squared. So 4 has to be squared in order to get 16. So our radius is 4. So once we have the center, the h and the k, and once we have our radius, the value that's being squared, we can press graph. And our circle will be graphed for us. As you can see, our center is at the value of 3, negative 2. And our radius is 4. You can press the trace button in order to get endpoints. So our right end point is negative 7, negative 2. And we can trace around our circle to get to another end point. So we have 3 and 2. We can continue to go around our circle. We have negative 1, negative 2, and you can continue going around to get to the bottom value also.